The focus uh, of the talk uh, is uh, always uh, searching uh, an RNA that improves this process, but why we are so interested in improving this uh, homologous recombination event. Um, we start from a, a, a basic consideration. A recent statistics uh, have uh, um, proved that uh, in human genome there are roughly 4,000 genes uh, that, uh, contain, <coughs> that may contain mutation causing disease. This is a, a very hard, a very huge amount uh, of, um, uh, of mutation that uh, can, um, um, can account for a, a, a major um, morbidity and also in a very serious uh, health problems. Uh, the, the major point is that uh, we do not have uh, an effective therapies for these uh, diseases. Um, gene therapy can provide some uh, solution by uh, replacement uh, therapy, but sometimes, uh, especially in the case of um, dominant mutation, it's not possible to, to solve uh, this problem with this uh, approach. So, um, the, the gold standard of uh, therapies for uh, the, uh, the inherited uh, monogenic diseases it would be the precise correction of the mutation by, possibly by, uh, homologous recombination with a, a suitable template. The, mm, the coming on the scene of the bacterial CRISPR nuclease uh, has revolutionized uh, the field and offering new uh, hopes uh, for, for treatment uh, of uh, also of the genetic diseases. Um, but uh, uh, what happened, CRISPR caused uh, the double strand breaks uh, on the genome uh, in a precise uh, position, um, guided by his uh, guide RNA in a consensus farm sequence. But uh, what is uh, the fate of the double strand rate? Um, in most of the cases uh, in uh, eukaryotic cells, uh, the, this damage is resolved by the non-homologous and joining process uh, that is uh, very uh, working over the cell cycle, and especially in G1, where most of differentiated cells uh, would uh, be. And, uh, but this process is uh, error-prone and introduce uh, um, deletions or additions or nucleotides, so uh, it is good for disrupted gene, the gene function, but this uh, could be also needed, but uh, is not good for correcting a mutation. What we want to, to have uh, is homologous recombination that occurs at the end of uh, DNA replication when um, a pairing uh, strand or allele is available for recombination or if we had a, a template, a suitable template, uh, it, this can be used uh, for replacing uh, the, the, the mutated strand. Um, but uh, this process in adult uh, um, mammalian cells is very rare event. So what, uh, what we need to have uh, this process uh, uh, useful for for therapeutic purposes is to try to find an announcer for uh, ovarian recombination. Uh, CRISPR by itself is an announcer of ovarian recombination, but still uh, the, the, feature, the global efficiency is low. Uh, with this concept uh, in mind, uh, we, um, we use uh, um, the resources of our high throughput uh, facility uh, to screen, uh, to screen to answer to, to a question, is it possible to find some microRNA um, that is a, a suitable uh, small molecule that could enhance a molecular recombination? This could be um, a, a good um, tool for, for it to be used also for therapeutic purposes. So with this um, goal uh, in mind, uh, we, um, we design a, a, a screening uh, to, um, to be done in, uh, in, in a cell line, in human cell line in vitro. And the screening was based on transfection in the cell line of three plasmids uh, with the reporter, GFP, containing a point mutation that allows uh, the synthesis of an misfolded but uh, uh, not fluorescent protein. 
and uh, a template, it is a truncated uh, GFP, but uh, with the correct um, sequence, uh, and a, a silent mutation abolishing the recognition of the CRISPR nuclease, so mutation in the pump site. And uh, the, um, the, the Cas9 from Cetococcus pyogenes and the suitable guide uh, RNA cut inside GFP sequence. The, um, the screening looks like, like this. Uh, um, the, okay, the, in this case, the recombination occurs uh, in episomal plasmid. This was um, chosen uh, for practical purposes uh, to make uh, the stay easier. And uh, we, we can see that only the transfection or the trick, the, all the components of the stay uh, produce uh, the appearance of corrected green cells. Uh, and the red cells is the immunophoration uh, for the efficiency of transfection uh, to normalize the events. So with this uh, essay, uh, with this essay ready, we screen, we screen, we device, we design the screen, we perform the screening in uh, high throughput uh, 384 well format, and um, after. Uh, high content uh, analysis uh, of the green and normalization of the green uh, dots obtained, we could select uh, some microRNA uh, that um, were more efficient than baseline in uh, producing this uh, uh, correction green dots. Um, among all, we selected 21 microRNA that uh, performed uh, 2.54 better than uh, that in control. Um, the analysis uh, of this um, 21 uh, microRNA um, was uh, um, gives uh, immediately the, the the observation that uh, there are uh, 10 of them that belongs uh, to uh, to we can uh, uh, group into two clusters and the cluster of family of with microRNA 5 to 0 and microRNA 302. Um, so this is a peculiar, uh, peculiar discovery. And when we analyzed better, we found that all these uh, uh, two family, big family of microRNA, uh, has uh, the same uh, um, consensus sequence. Uh, another RNA, microRNA that was uh, very significant in inducing, very effective in inducing um, better recombination was the 4469, but uh, it belongs to a different, uh, different family. Um, this, um, uh, what is uh, the, the peculiarity of these two family? Uh, both uh, uh, share the properties of. Uh, uh, um, enhancing the, transcri the, 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 the transcription of factors that promote the differentiation of the cells uh, and uh, put uh, uh, the cells uh, into cell cycle, promote uh, uh, replication. One of these uh, was uh, already known in our laboratory because it uh, came out from the screening uh, uh, that we performed for um, enhancing replication of cardiomyocytes in vitro. In vivo. Um, we, uh, but the, the screening was performed on episomal uh, uh, plasmid, so the situation is uh, very easy. But we wanted to confirm that uh, uh, we can use this microRNA also for enhancing um, a genomic uh, a, a gene integrated into the genome. Uh, to this purpose, uh, we integrated our our um, reported plasmid into a region of the of the genome, the AS1 locus, that is a safe uh, hardware for integration that do not affect any other function of the cell. And in this case, uh, we uh, rescreen um, our top um, uh, microRNA, and we found a different behavior. And this is, was uh, a little bit expected, but still, um, there was uh, the family of. Uh, 5 to 0 that um, came out, and uh, uh, importantly, the microRNA 4469 that was uh, also one very effective in, um, in, plasma, in uh, episomal um, recombination. Um, 
uh, trying to analyze uh, the, the mechanism of action of this uh, selected microRNA, uh, we choose uh, as an example uh, three, uh, three microRNA, the 4469 and the two representative of the two big uh, cluster. And uh, um, we perform a cell cycle analysis first um, according also to what uh, was uh, indicated from literature, and uh, indeed we found that uh, um, respect to, to control, um, um, all three basically uh, enhance uh, the, 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 the length, the, the accumulation of cells uh, in S and G2M uh, phases of the cell cycle. Um, this is uh, something that could be expected because uh, we know that the model recombination is favored in these uh, phases of the cell cycle. Another question that um, we wanted to answer was, uh, but does the, do these microRNAs uh, induce per se or a, a damage to the cell, uh, to the genome? Uh, but uh, the, the answer was uh, no. Uh, we uh, check for um, H2AX uh, uh, expression. Uh, we, we check for other proteins that uh, phosphorylate uh, the changing of a known uh, checkpoint, indicator of checkpoint uh, proteins, but uh, we, we found the all negative uh, answer. And moreover, uh, what we, uh, we found instead was that uh, uh, proteins uh, that are known to, uh, to be very active when homologous recombination uh, is, uh, is going on, uh, for example, RAD51 or uh, the MRN complex and BS1, uh, um, first of all, and we found that uh, there was a, a clear enhance, enhancement of this protein and uh, it was also confirmed at uh, real-time um, PCR. So, all this indicates that uh, probably this is uh, a mechanism, a prominent mechanism for this protein. But to have more, um, a more clear um, idea and overview of the, of the function, we, um, we treated cells, the, our cell line of reference uh, with this uh, microRNA and they perform a transcriptomic uh, sequence, transcri transcriptomic analysis, uh, uh, comparing uh, the three, our three um, major selected uh, microRNA. Um, as you can see by these graphs, uh, uh, the, the representative of the two big cluster family we selected uh, share a, uh, a lot, most of their transcripts, uh, a, a, a further indication that these are uh, very, very related in their function. Uh, contrary, there's uh, very little um, uh, sharing of uh, messenger between the two, uh, the two microRNA of the two cluster with the 4469, that is uh, as a different uh, um, seeding sequence, and so probably a different, uh, different behavior. Um, what um, so <coughs> to to analyze more the effect of this microRNA, um, we started uh, in, in, in over <coughs> a study, a bioinformatic uh, study of the of his messenger, and also in this case, uh, uh, the red means up regulation. We found that of of very key proteins involved in uh, homologous recombination or in, uh, in pathways that lead in some way of homologous recombination are activated. It is more clear from this way of representing uh, in which uh, we found that uh, many, many pathways had uh, in this, uh, at this uh, point. And so this is encouraging that this, uh, this particular microRNA it is also very effective in vivo, could be useful for, for other, other purposes. Um, just to, to summarize or to underline some key protein for, for the, the action of this microRNA, again, there are proteins that are known factor for, uh, essential factor for molecular combination. Uh, but also from the down-regulated transcript, uh, um, we, have, we, we can have a in, an interesting indication 
Um, for example, um, this map Kinase 11, that is also known as P38, uh, is a, a known uh, factor influencing a molecular combination and also replication. Uh, in specific chemical inhibitors of, uh, of uh, P38 uh, by, by per se enhance uh, um, a molecular combination in uh, in vitro assay. And interestingly, uh, the addition of the treatment microRNA plus uh, inhibitor of, of P38 uh, further enhanced the efficiency of the combination, um, uh, indicating that there's uh, um, an additive effect. But uh, what is uh, our the final purpose uh, of <coughs> having this uh, this molecule? Of course. Uh, the most ambitious um, goal is uh, to uh, to go to um, a real um, disease uh, model and uh, an in vivo system. Um, among all the monogenic diseases, 40% uh, uh, affect uh, heart and cause uh, um, cause diseases that are very serious for population and and very frequent. So um, the, um, the purpose also uh, in view that uh, our laboratory is, uh, is focused on studying heart and cardiomyocytes, um, we uh, transfer the reporter system to a vector system uh, that can allow the easy transduction of these uh, very difficult cells in vitro and also, uh, more importantly, in vivo. Um, we choose uh, adeno-associated uh, vectors that we are producing and we are very expert uh, in this uh, utilization. And uh, um, this, vi this viral vector can easily uh, use to, tra to, to transfect uh, cardiomy primary cardiomyocyte put in vitro. From these images, uh, you can see that uh, the system is working and uh, it, this is, was not, uh, we cannot just take for granted because, uh, because these cells uh, have a very, very limited capacity to replicate in vitro and also we suppose that they have uh, the, all the system, the machinery for molecular combination expressed at very low levels. So the, the, the appearance of green cells means that the process of work and importantly, and uh, the um, the microRNA4469 is able to enhance uh, these events uh, also in these primary cells. This is uh, the, exactly what uh, we would like to see. <laughs> and um, uh, okay, uh, this um, mm, this is a proof of principle. But what uh, uh, what uh, we what what we are going to, to apply this system to is uh, uh, a model of uh, um, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy due to a dominant autosomal dominant mutation in myosin binding protein C3 that is a, a major component of uh, the, um, the sarcomere a protein that may contact with all the other uh, protein that are uh, responsible for contraction uh, relaxation of the, of the uh, myocardium, and it's a very important regulatory protein. Its absence, its mutation causes its absence uh, and is uh, uh, going to, to, to generate a severe hypertrophic cardiomyopathy affecting, uh, um, and the, the mutation in this protein is responsible for 40% of all the, the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in humans. Uh, we have uh, a mouse model that uh, um, exactly recapitulates uh, one specific mutation that is uh, frequent in human, and it is uh, a point mutation causing uh, the protein splicing and uh, in the, um, causing nonsense mediated decay of the transcript of this uh, big protein is uh, present in at the end of exon 6. Um, we do not have uh, data yet, just um, a proof that uh, the system could work in, uh, in uh, cardiomyocytes uh, because uh, the, um, the correction of the point mutation 
cause the appearance uh, of uh, a restriction site uh, that we can detect by, by PCR. So uh, the treatment of these cells by the cell, our microRNA, we hope to, to increase uh, the frequency and uh, moreover, uh, this system is possible to, um, to, to transduce not only in vitro but uh, in, in vivo. We have some indication that also this, uh, this could work. So I just acknowledge that the Molecular Medicine Laboratory and Eduardo Schneider that is present in the audience and that is the major, um, uh, the people that uh, indeed work uh, on this uh, project for his PhD uh, thesis. Uh, I'm running the, the AV vector unit at the CGB and producing all the AV vectors that we all use. So thank you for your attention.